In this video, I am going to show you how profiling can help developer to do performance investigations. Suppose that I have a following application to show number of records from the data source. It may be it seems maybe no problem at initial, but when the data keep increase, it takes more time to generate and show it. As you can see in this example, it takes how many how many seconds? It takes around eight seconds. As a consequence, you still have to wait longer. Now, how do, we how do we improve the performance? What is the problem at? I'll show you how Profile will help developers to uh, investigate this critical section of code that potentially affect the performance. First, click Analyze and Launch Performance Wizard. Click Next and Next and Finish. As the Performance Explorer shown up, click Performance Explorer show up. Click Launch with Profiling. Your application now will show up as usual. However, this time Profiler will begin to record any action that you perform. I'll just uh, do some action similarly before. Get people. It takes a lot of time, and also I uh, export it to the ex uh, to the text file. Okay. Now I close it. After done recording and close your application, Visual Studio will show the performance report summary on which particular uh, function doing most work and causing most work. To see it more detail, you can you can now switch to call tree view or call tree view and expand it. You also can uh, can uh, uh, can simplify part of code uh, that probably have a problem. Click the expand hotpad button to see which part of code. That is hotpad that we need to examine. If you can see that, the hotpad is li lies on churn helper and uh, red line. As you probably know that this two method is the .NET library, so we cannot do much on that. What you can do is just examine the method that contains them, which is here the get name methods. Right click on the uh, get name method and go uh, go view source. Let's examine this portion of code. Get them method seems uh, doesn't seem have a problem because it just simply read and uh, read from the source. Now back let's back to the performance analysis uh, thi uh, things and see what function call the get names methods. It is the get people function. Now let's click view source and the get people functions. And uh, it seems some. Uh, it looks like suspicious here. Notice two line of code. These two line of codes, where they are not really related with the looping variable here, but they are placed inside the iteration. This is probably the cause of performance problem. Let's took them out and see what happens. Now let's run the application and see whether it will increase the performance or not. Click find button. You can see. Now it took uh, around 0.8 seconds. 